joint vault is defined as the intersection of two barrel vaults, which sounds simple, but this video will illustrate the concept. The groin vault is a significant improvement over the barrel vault for a number of reasons. First, because the groin vault concentrates the thrust of the vault into the corners, there is no continuous pressure on the side walls. That means that the walls of the church can be opened up for windows. This is very important in Romanesque churches that traditionally were very dark. Second, the groin vault can be built without a large amount of timber for the formwork, which frames the vaulting. In fact, it's believed that the groin vault emerged in the early Middle Ages in the Lombardy region of Italy, an area that had been deforested since Roman times. Here we have created a square ground plan. The groin vault can only span a square volume because it's necessary for the arches to rise to the same height. If the two vaults intersect at different heights, it causes warping and other problems. Next, we need to create two arches at 90 degrees from each other. Here is the first. We want the arches to have dimensions, so we create two arches, one above the other, to create an arch plane. Now we'll turn around and we'll extrude that arch plane so that it has a third dimension of thickness. We create the second arch in exactly the same way, perpendicular to the first. Remember that it has to be the exact same height as the first arch. Again, we create the arch plane. and then extrude the arch so that it has thickness. Now we extrude each three-dimensional arch so that it becomes a barrel vault. And now you have a groin vault. This is one of the fundamental vault types of Romanesque architecture and eventually leads to the quadripartite vault on which Gothic architecture is based.